Watu wagu Mwana nyingine ni mshaba marekani Eee e, e. Aa uh, Hapa tumepitia before Hii ni Alkai Beach Ok Na ni kasande kasande Mwenye, mwenye munataka kuhamia siyaro This is a cool place Ok kama wa weekend uta hang out hang out Mutaona tukienda hivi Wasa uka mku hang out hang out huku Aa uh, sababu so, iko karibu na maji. So, nilikuwa nataka tuonge na ukiwa downtown Seattle is is not far away. Okay? Just uh, Google Alkai Beach na itakuleta hadi hapa. Okay? So, na watu wameja, 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 wamekaka huko. Ah, uh, nitawaleta siku moja tutembe, tutembe. Ah, uh, mfurahie. Ni kwa nini? Leo tunaongea ni kwa ni kwa nini nataka mkuje Marekani? <clears throat> So, watu wanaweza shindo oh ushamba motivation za kukuja marekani ni kwa nini nataka mkuje marekani okay so hiyo ndio tutaongea the first thing ni ati uh, cuz mimi goal yangu na hope na na wish kila mtu Kenya okay kila mtu mtani like all the families wakuwe na mtu mmoja wao marekani okay that is hope yangu na wenye wenye mko na hiyo mnataka kukuja marekani make sure hiyo dream is isikufe okay na marekani unaweza kuja hata ukiwa miaka ngapi so kila mmoja wenyu akuwe na family member ako marekani okay sababu mnajua venye mtani iko mnajua ekonomi ya mtani venye iko saa hizi uh, na elewa maisha ni ngumu mtaani uh, ikikam ni majob uh, ni ni kujuana ni kujuana so hata kama wase wengi wamesoma na kama umesoma kuna wase wamesoma na ni wengi hata kwa comments najua mna tamak kuna kazi poa na watu wanaweza sema maybe ni pride uh, but kama umesomea bitu no manoma uko university eh hey, kuchukua kazi na kulipa hivi hivi is not easy as what of kiria okay so mtani ni kujuana kupata kazi ama ma connection na najua nyinyi wote sio kila mtu akona ma connection okay so mtu mmoja akiwa na mse wao marekani hiyo itasaidia sana sababu unajua kama saa hizi wa Kenya wa Kenya wenye wako huku marekani wameshikilia economy ya Kenya zile pesa wana wana remit ama wanatuma back home ziko in billions zinyo wanatuma home that means a lot for the Kenyan economy uh, wa Kenya wako huku uh, wengine wanasomesha their younger sisters and brothers wengine wana support the elderly parents wengine wanasomesha the, 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 the sisters and the brothers the, the their sons and daughters okay wengine kuna wenye wana wanasaidia wale watoto kwa orphanage uh, wengine wame adopt watoto wanawasaidia Uh, wengine wanajenga wana, wana, wana nyumba mtaani ndio kuwezesha wasio wapate places za kuishi so wanajenga economy wengine wanasaidia wasio kuanzisha biashara so they are really really helping wasio wako mtaani na mmeanza kuona hizo developments zote unaona zote mtaani hadi hizo manyumba kubwa kubwa zinajengwa the main target market ni wasio wako na wako abroad wako outside Kenya So ndio wamefuel hiyo growth ya mtaani. So it is very very good at least mse mmoja na si ati ni wasewa na wana, wana hepa home but watu wakikama wakienda abroad waongeze masomo uh, wapate pesa then waitume home pia country yetu ina grow. Hii Kenya in some years will be one of those countries watu wanaiangalia wanashindwa what hii country ko Africa. So that way unaona hata uh, mse mmoja akiwa na, na kila mtu akiwa na msia ko, ako na family uk, abroad hata crime inaweza itapungua very very significant in Kenya kwa sababu most of the uh, ile kitu ina contribute crime mtaani ni kukosa pesa hakuna opportunity za ku make do na ama vijana wanataka kurembesha sijui wanataka kuserereka hizo vitu kama hizo na wana pesa. So unaona inabidi wanaingia crime wengine apart from the other factors but the main thing watu wanaingia crime ni ikikamni mambo na pesa. So but unaona hiyo inaweza solveiwa 
ukiona family member anaweza kutumia pesa mnaona hata crime itapungua sababu mnaenda mnaenda ku commit crime nini na kuna mse wa wenyu anawatumia pesa okay so that is very good so kukiwa na mse mmoja at least in family zenyu that is very good kama ni sister yenu brother yenu ama mama yenu ama bwana yako so hata mimi naweza penda muone hiyo opportunity the other thing ni ati uh, wengi wenyu zile opportunity mmekuwa denied mtaani for some reason maybe mse ametoka uh, tribe fulani na opportunity alikuwa ana, anataka juu ya tribe yenu yuko angepata unaona hizo opportunity utaweza kuzipata sababu as much as, as we know tunajua mtaani bado kuna hiyo tribalism bado tunajaribu kupigana nayo okay but kuna watu wengine wako na wako na merits na wako poor and they will get some position but because they don't belong kwa community fulani inakuwa ni shida so unaona hao watu wataweza kupata the opportunity kama wewe ni engineer utaweza ku practice kwa engineer kama wewe ni daktari ama kama wewe ungeweza kusomea udaktari unaona utapata hiyo opportunity ya kusoma kuna wengine pia juu ya poverty hawangeweza kusomea Kenya wanataka wengine wenyu ungependa kuwa manases madaktari wase wa software engineering lakini hamwezi sababu maybe wazazi wako ina position na ukikuja Marekani you be able kujisomesha wakenya wengi wamekaa wamejisomesha sababu utafanya kazi na hiyo pesa itakuwa enough kujilipia okay opportunities zitakuwa mingi hakuna ati kujuana ndio ingia university fulani as long as uko na pesa utaweza kuingia so wale wamekaziwa opportunities mtaweza kuzipata opportunities kama ni biashara mtaweza kuna wengine wenyu mnajua mnatakanga kuanzisha biashara mtaani lakini hizo bureaucracy zinakuwa mingi mara mmesumbuliwa na kanjo sijui mara kuna ma, 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 ma nini ma loopholes mingi lazima u, u, u jump diweze kuanzisha biashara so but ukija marekani utaweza kuanzisha hizo biashara ukijari register business yako unachukua tax id okay na hivyo ushachukua hizo permits ni hivyo hakuna mtu atakusumbua akaona lipa taxes zako uh, na una follow well, business practices poa au utasumbuliwa utaweza run biashara yako wakenya wengi wameanzisha mahoteli huku wengine wameanzisha ma, ma, ma funeral home wengine wameko na ma group home wakenya wako na dealership uniambie also the environment can inaweza prevent mtu kuwa successful because there is no way utaniambia msiako mtaani hakukua na alikuwa pia anafanya mabiashara lakini hakuweza ku succeed but the moment amekanyaga marekani anaweza ku succeed so the environment pia inaweza kwa imefunga wengine nyi kuto succeed na inabidi mnatoka nje ya home ndio uweze kuweza ku succeed so wakenya wako na hizo mabiashara zote ma dealership manini na zimewezesha uh, to, to, be, to be successful okay so nyi wengi mtapata hizo opportunity ya kujisomesha uh, kuendele, kuendeleza families kuna wengine uh, yes unaweza kuona pata maybe kamshara ka 50000 lakini uwezi support familia yako yote uwezi support shusho yako extended family lakini ukikuja marekani it will be very beneficial for those family hata kuna watoto maybe wa maybe kuzo yako na ajiwezi and unaweza wasomesha uwasaidie so that will be very good wewe ukienda marekani ndio uweze kuwasaidia ama abroad okay ndio uweze kuwasaidia the other thing nataka nyinyi mkuje ni sababu marekani kuna nationalities wengi sana watu walifika huku unapata a ah, sema filipino wamejaa huku unapata wasewa Iranians wamejaa huku uh, Ethiopians wamejaa huku wengi kabisa manaijo wamejaa huku uh, wazungu wa, 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 na huko kwenye wanapigana mnajua hizo countries zinapigana wamejaa huku eh, wasewa Israel mo Lebanese yani utaenda mpaka community zingine kama wewe ukienda community zingine za Wahindi unashindwa kwani uko India kuna mali place fulani nilipita na huko ni I think ni New Jersey. Yaani unajua na huko huko Ludhuli Avenue venye kuna kuanga tuduka to Wahindi Wahindi hivyo na huko 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 back street za Nairobi. Hiyo place inakaa hivyo mpaka Wahindi wameka huko nje. Tuduka unaweza dhani huko India. Nika ku drop hapo usiku. Wewe nikufunge macho ni ku drop hapo. Nikuulize uko wapi? Utaniambia uko India na tunaweza bet 
na uko utasema uko 100% sure uko India lakini sio India ni, ni Marekani so hizi communities wamekuja huku mimi ninataka kuona wakenya wengi na niloambia nikienda ho si nataka kupata mkenya ako huko nataka kupata daktari mkenya naweza ongea Kiswahili nimwambie niaje ama nas mkenya nikienda dealership mkenya ndiye ananiambia niaje uh, igari hivi hivi uh, ananiambia hataki kuniswindle okay nikienda kwa hoteli nataka kuona ni hoteli mkenya okay mkenya ndiye anauza hizo anauza kwa hiyo hoteli yani nikienda many many places unapata wa Kenya ndio wako kwa hizo ma business ukienda court house unapata ma lawyer ni wa Kenya yeah na hiyo itahapenaje nyinyi wengi mkikuja so mimi ninataka pia nyinyi mkue ndio mrepresent marekani ni kubwa wewe imagine hata wa Kenya najua kuna venye wanasema wa Kenya wametoka Kenya kwa wingi but marekani marekani iko na space kubwa sana ya watu wengi kuja huko hata ukiona huko kwa city watu tu wamejisunda wame kwa city ukisha toka 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 huko nje kwa city unaona ngaland yenye iko empty huko unajua watu wezi jaa huko it's a whole big continent so pia mimi ninataka kuona Kenyans kama hawa watu wengine wenye wamekuja hata kama hatutaionana at least mkikuja sababu unajua mnaweza enda state yenye asiko so as long as mko huko wa Kenya na mnaendelea na maisha yenu that's my happiness huh? sababu mbona ni nitakia wa nationalities wengi hao wakuje huku na nyinyi msikuje so lazima ni wa motivate sababu hao nationalities wengine pia wali motivate wakapatiwa information wakaambiwa endeni mnaweza apply green card eh mnaweza kuja na hizi njia mnaweza kuja kama ma visitor mnaweza kuja na agriculture mnaweza kuja na student exchange programs so it's very good hata wa Kenya wenye wana educate wa Kenya wengine ndio muweze kupata hizi opportunities sababu hao nationalities nyingine wamejinyakulia opportunities mama unapata mpaka ma, ma, ma estate fulani zimejaa wase kutoka uh, country fulani na real estate agent mwenye analyst hiyo nyumba kuuza kusema nyumba ikitokea ametoka kwao so uniambie aki, waki, waki, waki decide waseme okay hii estate yote tunataka wase wa kwetu mbona haisiwezekane sababu hata kama marekani kuna hizo policies zina restrict mambo kama hizo but let's think about it nyumba imelistiwa okay Re, uh, uh, real estate agent tuseme ametoka philippines okay uh, kwenye wanaenda bank inapeana loan wanapata wafili wanafanya kazi huko okay okay my buyers wenye wanakamkununua wengi ni nani mafili wewe ni mkenya peke yako so hebu niambie how is it gonna be possible wewe kama mnabid na hiyo nyumba watakuchezea watakuchezea si mnyi mnajua hata kazi zingine mtaani mnaweza apply nyinyi wote lakini jua sawa wametoka community fulani watachezea mwenye amekuwa qualified na wataeka mtu hata yuko qualified jua ametoka community yao ha? so mkiwa wengi hata hiyo nikienda nikiseme alafu kuna banks zingine huku sema bank zingine zitapea wase wametoka kwao ma loans au hata wataonyesha wewe ukifanya hivi hivi na hivi utaweza kuhepa hizi loopholes na upata hii loan so mi nikienda kwa bank sema ukienda kwa bank unataka kununua nyumba unapata mkenya huko ndiyo banka ama ndiye huyo wa finance ye ye ndio finance officer huko atakwambia niaje inabidi umefanya hivi Ah uh, ndio hii loan kwa approvalwa atakuonyesha hizo malipo zote so it's very good ukiwa represented na wasa kwenu okay and ndio hizo opportunities zisikupite so ninataka kuona watu wengi huko okay na ndio mimi usema sio lazima nyote wote mkuje kusomea nasi na masiende sababu kuna hizi nationalities wakianza kuweka majajes huko na mapolisi na hakuna wa Kenya hizo sectors what's gonna happen fate yenu ina decide wana wase wengine okay so it's very very uh, beneficial kuona nyinyi mkikuja kwa wingi ndio muweze ku occupy those things na si ati mnakuja uh, kama mnakuja kufanya CNA ama nasi mka Kenya <laughs> inataka kuona mkikuja mnafanya mnakuwa ma engineer software engineers uh, madaktari ma architect uh, 
my project managers, Gunaela, so that my judges, uh, my lawyers, okay? Kuna wa Kenya wengi by the way lawyers, my lawyers wengi sana wana deal na immigration, okay? So which is a good thing. So usia ti mkuje tu mfanye the same, same thing, okay? So then the other one is, wengine wenyu, auta hiyo ngari. As long as unaishi Kenya, it will be very difficult. Auta hiyo za kukamapu na pisa kuo ngari. Okay? Basisa unana ukikuja marekani niliwambia, you lazima utaon gari lazima utaon gari uh, sababu utakuwa na kazi na watakupea gari uh, ulipiange pole pole ama hiyo kazi uki save itakupea pesa yenye itakusaidia kununua gari cash okay so unaona wengine wenyu amta hiyo gari utakuwa na gari wengine wenyu amta hiyo mashamba mtaani ukikuja marekani utaweza kuchapa kazi u save ununue shamba Wengine enyu, uh, maybe nyumba, mtaiweza kuchenga manyumba poa muishi in a humane way. Maybe msa umetoka ghetto, kwenye ukitoka inje, siwe jiziko tu hapo inje. Yani, mtaiweza kuchange life yako. Lakini wana ukipata hiyo opportunity ya, ya, ya kukuja kama marekani, utachange hizo conditions. Okay? Wewe utaweza kuchange. Ama mmoja wenyu, sister yako, mbro yako, ataweza kuchange hizo conditions na mtatoka hiyo place unatoka nje unaona siwe na unatoka nje unaona nyasi ya green ni nini, nini. Uh, so that will be very helpful mtaweza kuchange maisha maisha yenu okay so uh hiyo ndio reason uh, nataka nyinyi wote mka Marekani ndio nawaambia guys video so that we comfortable um, juu hata ukinyimua visa unarudi unarudi paka ile time watakupea una apply hizo green card paka ile time utapata sababu hizi nationalities zingine can you imagine countries kama akina India hivi Philippines hao watu wame migrate wengi paka waezi jaza green card can you imagine ati wame wali, wali kuja na green card wengi mpaka ikapidu wame wafungia Sabu na jua green card iko divided into continents na countries na sema kama Afrika iko uh, ni watu 10,000 yo tunachukua every year uh, iki kuja ni Asia tunachukua hizo country mingi za Asia I think hata Nigeria walifungiwa jua venyo wame migrate kwa wingi na green card so unaona it's very very good wa Kenya mkika sababu hizo opportunity hawa tu wote wame ingia nyingi pia nyingi Kenya ijafungiwa, that means they still want wa Kenya wakujo wa immigrate. Hii kanti inapenda immigrants. Sabu, huku kama wazungu wapati watoto, uh, waze, watu wa huku wanazeka. So, wanaitaji labor force. Most of the countries wa zungu watu wanazeka wapati watoto. Okay, lakini ukiangalia countries kama Kenya, ziko na young population. Hawa watu ndi wanazafanya chapa kazi wa support economy. So ndiyo naona easy countries mpaka za Europe they are so happy kuachilia watu wengi wa, wa, wa Afrika waingie sababu wanajua mazee tuko na labor shortage na population yetu inazeeka we need young people na ni wapi utapata watu young people wamejaa mtaani so wacha to make policies za kuonyesha watu wakubali sababu wazungu wote all over the world wanataka kupata watoto wengi okay so unadhani nani atawatekea wakizeeka si ni watu wa young so, hizo green card, hizo quarters, bado wa mzijazipitisha. Because Kenya bado iko allowed ku, uh, ku, ku, kucheza hizo green card. That means, population ya Kenya, they still need to be more people wakuje. So, ujue msea kali po green card last year, uo mtu, uo mtu angekuwa mtu ange apply hii mwaka. So, what does that mean? Juo mtu, uh, siyo mtu wame apply this year, that means, Hii mwaka mtu waki apply, kuna mtu ataipata. What if huyo mtu ni, ni wewe? Ukijazi ata the whole village yenyu kama mkorelated. Kwa hivyo madhani ya kuna mmoja atashinda. <laughs> ha? So, then the other thing ni kimalizia ni uh, there is a reason kuna emba, US Embassy hapo mtani. Okay? Hao uh, pia wakona kuota za visa. Zenyo wanafaa kukupea watu wa kuja marekani. Okay? 
So, hata ukienda unyimwe visa. By the way, uh, ikikam ni kukuja maju, hakuna mtu who decide kama unaweza kuja. Wale watu wa immigration wenye ukingia pale kwa ima, ukienda kwa US Embassy, uo mtu ndi ana decide kama atakupea visa. But do you know another thing? Uki apply for visa, sababu kuna zile kuota za visa zenye wanafaa kupeana kama ni za watu wanakuja na visitor visa, Usidani uh, uh, usidani embassy ya, ya, ya Marekani kwa mtaani katika waongeangi na gava ya Kenya. Obviously wame brief gava ya Kenya wanaambia ni aje. Uh, sisi uh, hii kuota ndiyo mmeasainiwa. Uh, we can only give uh, 10,000 people easy visa uh, from Kenya. Uh, for whatever reasons, kuna easy visa za kuvisit from Kenya, visitor visa and, and, and uh, so on. Kuna wenye wa education tumewa tumewa assignia like 500 visas ama 1000 visas so visa ziko ukienda ku apply for visa ujue wewe hiyo time wame, think about it kama ume apply visa ukanyimwa uki apply visa unalipa hiyo fee and all that ukienda pale kwa interview ujue washaangalia background wameangalia hizo document uli submit wameangalia kama uko na watu wenyu US no wanda wanakuuliza nga au uko na mtu yote uko related ukiwadanganya wanajua sababu already wame search jina yako wanajua kuna watu unajua na nao wako marekani so mbona unawadanganya wanajua so ukienda pale kuinterviewiwa a watu wanajua details zako zote so kwa nini wanakuitanga interview kama hawataki kukupea visa sababu kiangalia ka, 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 kama UK UK hata sidhani uendangi interview okay wanaku update nini nini kama wanakunyima wanakuambia mbona marekani iwezi 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 kuambia hivyo ikunyime hata before uende interview sababu what is the reason ya kwenda interview pale wa kunyime visa i make sense so hawa watu wanakuanga uki apply na u submit hizo document uko na visa sababu uko kwa hiyo kuota sababu pia kama kama watu wamejaza wengi si unajua hizo interview zinaikuwa na dates uniambie kama watu wako wengi na wanajua hizi visa ai hawa watu wanaweza funga hizo appointments kwa nini wako na, na, na different appointment slots so ukienda ku apply ukienda ukiitwa interview pale kwa US embassy ujue uko na visa visa yako ushapewa but sababu uko in within that quarter ya watu wanafaa kupewa visa ndio wanda wako na hizo interview dates na wanataka watu kadhaa wakuje hizo interview dates una schedule wana ku schedule so hao watu wote mna schedule leo mnakuanga mmepewa visa sababu mko part of the quarter yenye inafaa kukuja kuinterviewiwa now Shida inakuchanga ukienda pale kuinterviewiwa. Kama mwenye ana kuinterview kwa na siku mbaya atakudinai. Kama umeenda pale wamekuuliza swali na wameona ai huu mtu ataka tulikuwa tuko na visa yake hapa kuna venye amejibu hiyo swali na tuja kuwa satisfied. So pale kwa visa wanaendaga kutafuta reason ya kukunyima visa. Wakikosa hiyo reason Okay, wakikosa hiyo reason visa kwani hiyo visa inatokanga wapi? Uniambie mtu akienda akienda hata kwa sababu kuna watu wengi wameenda kwa US embassy. Mtu ameenda mara ya kwanza amenyimwa, mara ya pili amenyimwa. How comes ameenda mara ya tatu na amepoa visa? Kwani imetoka wapi? So, na kuna ukienda kuna mwenye ameenda mbele yako amepoa visa, ukanyimwa visa. Ama wewe umepoa visa na mwenye alikuwa mbele yako amenyimwa. How comes? Unaela. So, nyi wote mkienda interview kule kwa US Embassy na ndio unaona uki apply, uka una apply visit visa na una apply hizo visa zingine. Make sure information yako ina line up such that ukienda pale kwa interview au hata kuuliza swali yenye itafanya wewe unyimwe visa. Sababu visa yako iko. Ukibukiwa ukipatiwa appointment date, uko na visa. So ukienda pale wanakutafutia reason ya kukunyima visa not because hawataki kukupea 
but yes uko within the quota ya wale wanaweza wanapa kupewa visa but pia wanajaribu kuona okay juu mtu tumempea visa wacha to make sure eh, ni mtu genuine sababu unajua they wanna see you wanataka kukuona wakuuliza uulize so ukienda pale pia unaomba ukienda pale interview uko na spirit ya kupendwa sababu kuna wasio wengine <laughs> pole kauli nyimo visa si ati unachukiwa it could be another thing kuna kuna mtu maybe ako na spirit unachukiwa na wase ukienda pale ule anaku interview na kuona tu hivyo ana decide automatically huyu mtu hata akijibu maswali venye ninataka mimi si mlike sitampea visa yes sababu huyo anaweza kuwa kona visa aseme alafu yeye anajua nimemuuliza hii swali uh, na kujibu wako nipatia satisfactory answer so ndio nimemnyima visa na maybe nime amekuona haja ku like okay so unaomba pale pia wewe ukwe na favor ukwe likeable okay so wewe jua ukienda pale kwa visa uh, visa uko nayo but ule msi akiwa na bad day si unajua watu wengine wanasema oh, i'm sorry i was having a bad day ndio kama nilikutreat hivyo yes americans wanakuanga hivyo wanaweza kuwa na bad day wana act, wana act kama wakora hivi na kumbe ni siku mbaya walikuwa nayo the next uh, unasikia akisema oh, inajaka apologize it wasn't one of those days okay so but sasa hiyo ikikamni visa hakuna kitu unaweza fanya but kama kama nisemo uko marekani ya msia fai kukutreat in any way utamcall out na is it a fai kutumie excuse at ya walikuwa na have an, a bad day but ikikamni pale anaweza kuwa alikuwa na have bad day ana decide ule kila mtu anakuja hapa na muuliza hii swali na na, na, na mnyima visa. Okay? Nasema na, na, nasema nime find reason ya kumnyima visa. Okay? So make sure ukie, ukienda pale kwa embassy put yourself position ya mwenye ana ku interview. U imagine huyu mtu na muinterview ni nini naweza fanya wa kunyime visa. Ni home ties mtu akikuja hapa ni nione yeye ni kama atarudi akienda amesema nataka kwenda ku visit Marekani kwetu nikiona nikiona huu mtu akienda ku visit huko atakatalia huko ni kama tuseme unataka watu wajue waende kutembelea uh, kutembea kwako nikiona huu mtu ataenda huko alale na bibi yangu huyu ataenda kutembea kwangu nikiona huyu ataenda kule mpaka snacks za watoto ai huyu zitakubali aende kwangu So ukijeka hiyo position na mwenye ana kuinterview pia anafikiria hivi nikiona huu msi akikataa kuniprovia nikiona ni kama atakalitalia huko Marekani na amesema anaenda ku visit sitamkubali aende sababu atakuwa amenitanganya ati anaenda ku visit na ni uongo anaenda kukatalia huko huyo mtu akiniambia anaenda kusoma nimwangalie hivi nione ai huu mtu ni mjanja huyo hata aweza kukaa shule huyo anataka kwenda kutafuta pesa Sita mkubali aende sababu ataenda shule na ile shule iko huko imempatia imempatia documentation sababu anawaletea pesa in terms of school fees na usipowaletea hizo pesa hiyo opportunity ume, umewawestia na wangeipatia mtu mwingine so umedanganya unakuja kusoma na ni ukweli usomi so hiyo opportunity wangepea mtu mwingine alikuwa na pesa walimnyima kwa mtu alikuwa na pesa ame give up na wewe ume, ujaenda shule pia so wame lose so akiangalia one wewe utaenda kusoma eh hey, unaenda tu kuhaso hata kupea hiyo visa area pe mwenye anataka kwenda kusoma na anajua mtu atasoma na atapea shule pesa sababu it's all a business eh ni biashara okay shule za huko ni biashara so think about it that way ati ukiitwa interview ya, ya, ya pale kwa US embassy already umepata visa wakikupea interview date uko na visa ukienda pale kuinterviewiwa wanatafuta reason ya kukunyima visa okay ni the same way tuseme kama kwa koti ume, umefanya makosa fulani ukienda pale kwa koti wenye wana wanaongea wana eh, judge lawyer ni nini nini hizo proceedings koti already already hata lawyer wako anaweza anajua wewe ndio ulifanya hiyo makosa but sasa pale kwa koti wanatafuta njia ya kusema sio wewe kama ni lawyer wako na wale wengine ile side wanatafuta njia ya ya kuonyesha court ni wewe ulifanya hivyo without reasonable doubt okay so before we enter court wewe ni, ni every person 
ukienda pale wakipata reason ya kusema wewe ndo ulifanya hivyo na wanaweza improve unafungwa wakiweza kupata reason ya kuonyeshana wewe even though ulifanya hivyo but kuna reason ya kuonyeshana sio wewe ulifanya hivyo without doubt freedom yako ndio hiyo so think about it that way ukienda US embassy so hizo kuota za visa ni zenyu wenye amjakuja hizo green card azijapeanwa uh, uh, zenye zimeasainiwa Kenya ni zenyu so uspo apply uwezi complain uspoenda kwa US embassy mpaka ile time watakupatia visa uwezi usi complain sababu hizo kuota zinakuwa every other year kuna kuota za visa zinapeanwa 